In recent times, drones have become incredibly popular. No longer the preserve of the military, now anyone can fly one. But when you finish flying, how do you get that out of the sky? These guys have made it look remarkably easy, probably because they've had lots of practice. But a little less know-how could be costly and painful. Yup, catching a drone can be surprisingly hard and unexpectedly dangerous. And that's because the four propellers of a drone spin at more than 10,000 revolutions per minute, which is pretty fast. In order to hold a drone safely and securely, our man should grip a rigid and non-moving part from beneath. Either the body or the legs present good surfaces to grasp. But he must remember that the propeller blades have high angular velocity, which gives their tips a lot of kinetic energy. This, coupled with the sharp edges of the airfoils, means that the very high pressure can be applied to and break the skin. Ah! So, to avoid injury, low relative speed will allow our man to grab the drone in a safe place and avoid finding out why they're called rotor blades. Personally, I prefer to keep my distance from drones, and my advice to you would be to avoid catching one at all costs. Unfortunately, not everyone has my good judgment. OK, that does look all right, but that drone is quite a long way away from him now. But don't panic, just hit the return to home button. What a useful feature that is. This is a fairly large drone with some pretty serious propellers spinning at high angular velocity. So the tips could be moving at around 100 miles an hour and have a lot of kinetic energy. Great for getting it safely back to where it wants to go. Less great if you're in its path. Yeah, that's what happens when drones attack. This is exactly the sort of situation where catching a drone is really stupid. A moving boat is definitely going to up the difficulty level of this dodgy procedure. But he does seem pretty confident. And by that I mean overconfident. On a moving boat, it's hard to get a low relative velocity between drone and catcher. The pilot doesn't manage, and instead of his hands grabbing the body, they hit the propellers. And since they have a high angular velocity, their tips have a lot of kinetic energy that must be dissipated on impact with his fingers. <laughs> Back on dry land, that should make this a bit easier. Nice catch. Terrible throw. Why on earth did you do that? It hit me. Typical. While this guy makes a heroic catch, his friend speeds the blades up. One hits his arm and the kinetic energy is transferred in quite a painful way. After all that, I'm left with these words from Stephen Hawking ringing in my ears. Life would be tragic if it weren't funny.